Hello, welcome to this quick video where we'll go through troubleshooting a few of the common Meraki VPN client errors. So this VPN uses L2TP with a pre-shared key. So the first thing you want to do, the very obvious thing, the thing you should have done first is to log into the portal and make sure that it's running the latest firmware. So you'll see if the firmware is up to date. Please do this because most of the time this will actually fix the issue. You might not think so, but I've seen it fix it in most cases. So you can also check the firmware type under Organization and Firmware Upgrade. You'll see a window similar to this one where you can see the latest versions, what's stable, what's a beta release. Maybe a beta release has a fix for an issue you're facing, so you can try one of those. All right, so now back to the basic setup of the VPN. All right, so on Windows 10, so I'm just going to show you a test VPN I've set up. So I'm just going to show you the settings that I've put in here. You can see the name, the IP, the LTTP with pre-shared key, the pre-shared key here, username and password. So you think, fantastic, I'm done. All right, and you go connect and you say, oh, mm, brilliant. So there's a common thing that happens when the VPN is first created. The adapter that's required for the VPN is missing a setting. That doesn't quite make sense, but we'll go over that right now. So if you're Windows 7, you'd have to find this in Control Panel, Network and Sharing, Adapter Settings. Windows 10, just click this one, Change Adapter Options. So find your adapter, in this case our VPN connections called VPN Test. Right click it, go to Properties, and General, that's fine, Options, that's okay. Security, make sure you've got that correct. And the Advanced button will give you the pre-shared key, make sure that's in there. Here you'll have Data Encryption, Optional or Required. It doesn't really matter. There's only one small glitch. I'm not sure why this happens, but unencrypted password PAP must be selected. Don't worry, PAP won't be used. It's just some funny little glitch in Windows that needs this checked or ticked in order for it to work. So once you tick that, hit OK. Here I am. Here's my message. Try connect. Bingo. So that's the first sort of basic error you can get around. The next one is revolving around error 789, which you might get a connection denied, connection termino terminated by host, even though you're entering the correct credentials. So this relates to two IPsec services, which you have to make sure are set to automatic. So you'll open up your services.msc and you'll look for your two services. So you've got the first one, which is IPsec policy agent and IKE auth IP IPsec keying modules. Make sure those are both set to startup type automatic. If they're not, right click them, go to properties and make sure they're automatic, hit apply. If you're unable to set this option, you may need admin rights on your machine. Okay, so in some cases you may try and connect straight away and it may not work. It's often best to give it a restart, check these services are running, refresh it to make sure they're automatic and running then try again. I've noticed some machines take one, two minutes before it lets you connect. Maybe those services take some time to start. So try that out and that should fix that issue. All right, next error is error 809. So this relates to an issue with clients connecting from behind a NAT device. So maybe a NAT firewall, a NAT router, which may be sending out traffic that the Meraki VPN does not recognize or when it tries to send traffic back, it doesn't make sense, you can't connect. All right, so to fix this, you will have to create a registry entry. So regedit.exe, you want to go, I've already got this done, but you want to go to local machine, system, current control set, services, and click on the policy agent folder. In here, you want to create a new D word. I've already done this D word here, which is assume UDP encapsulation context on send rule. You should have a value of two. Hit OK, give your machine a restart and try again. Remember, make sure these services are started that I mentioned before, as they take maybe one or two minutes to start. And that's basically it. The other issue you may run into is DNS resolution not working over the VPN. This is basically the VPN setup has not got the correct DNS settings. So log into your portal, check your VPN settings, make sure your DNS server is pointed to a local server on your network. Yeah, that's basically it. Hope that helped. 
Any questions, leave them in the comments. Thank you all. Bye.